Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing. I'm excited for this one today. We have the Fostex 6301DT Active Loudspeaker. DT stands for Dante. This is an all-in-one Dante speaker. And the reason I'm excited about this is over to my right, you can't see it, but we have the RedNet AM2 from Focusrite, which is a Dante uh, D to A converter. So digital audio to analog audio converter. It takes Dante and it spits out XLR audio and you plug that into any speaker you'd like. But if you need a reference monitor that uh, is all in one and just you plug Ethernet right into it, and it, Dante comes out, this is the device for you. It simplifies it a little bit. Um, haven't had the chance to listen to it yet or really get to know it at all, but we start with an unboxing and then we'll get to that another time. So let's get into it. Very simple experience here. It came in a shipping box separately. So as I open this up, all I need, no tape or anything, uh, all I need to do is pull that tab. Comes with some documentation here. Set that aside. Pull this off. And I'm going to admit something. I actually already unboxed half of this because uh, Long story, but there was a protective felt covering on the speaker when I got it out, and then I put it right back in after taking it out. Um, one of our lights turned off, so <laughs> set this aside. There we go. And we have our D plug, our IEC cable right here. Uh, standard stuff, nothing too exciting, and a protective box for that IEC cable. And just get this out. Nothing else in the box. That's it. Simple. A lot of these Dante devices are really simple because um, sometimes they won't even have a power cable. Sometimes they're powered over Ethernet. This one is not PoE. You get the D plug here. You want a little bit more power for a speaker. It's probably why they designed it that way. You don't really want to be uh, pulling a bunch of power from every switch that you got. So here we have a few ports. We have our AC in. Of course, you need that. And then we have our Dante in, which actually, if I hold it up to this computer, you'll probably get a better look. We have our Dante in there, an analog audio in, just looks like a um, quarter inch plug there, and then an input selector switch. So with this input selector, you can go, you can listen to Dante, you can listen to Dante and the analog in, or you can just listen to the analog in. That, I thought about it a little bit, why you'd want that. And, you know, I, I suppose there are a bunch of different use cases. For us, one use case could be maybe you have your Dante in coming from your comms. Maybe that's it, like a, a stage announce or an interrupt. And then you might have your analog in coming from your monitor and you want to switch it. Or maybe you want to listen to both at once. So that's a pretty cool feature that they have built in here. Looking around, we have a Phillips head screw on the top, which is just for assembly. I'm always curious on the bottom. We don't get any threading on the bottom. So that's something I've seen from uh, some reference monitors is they thread it here so that you can just attach it right to a mic stand. This does not have that. Then on the front, we get a power on and off and a volume knob. I'm gonna press, the volume knob doesn't press in or anything. It's recessed. It's not the easiest thing to access here, but you know, I mean, how often uh, you know, you're, you're, you're turning this a few times, maybe an hour. So, you know, you might want something a little bit easier to access, but it's actually quite easy to reach in there. Has a nice feel to it. There's no clicking to this. It just goes, it's a very smooth feel. So, so that's notable. And this power, it, uh, it kind of goes in to the divot there if it's on and comes out if it's off. So, yeah, very clear, simple operation. So I imagine that the next step for this would be to power it on, plug it into the Dante network, and uh, configure it with a Dante controller. So that's all I really have for this one. It's a really simple device, volume, power, a switch back here, and a couple inputs. Yeah, not much to it. And these, uh, these Dante devices are oftentimes quite simple, so no surprise there. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please uh, leave a like and consider subscribing if you like content like this. We uh, hopefully, by the time you're watching this, have put this through a few paces. So feel free to ask questions in the comments below and we check those really regularly. So look forward to talking to you down there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.